Hello, how are you? Happy New Year. Welcome back to Coffee with Tammy. How are you doing? It's 2023. In fact, one week in 2023 is gone. How has it been for you already? Woo! I'm so glad you made it across. I'm so glad that you're here, that we are alive, that we are well. For me, 2023, the last quarter of 2023 was kind of hard and it was such a good year. And then emotionally it was um, a bit of a rough road but uh, thank god i'm here and i'm going to be positive and i want us to be positive so this is not going to be a long video in fact i've had to change what i wanted to say because it's going to turn out to be kind of like a book review which it wasn't planned so um will be goldberg new book a new book it's called if someone says you complete me run i'm going to talk about it <laughs> and um it sort of fits in with what i wanted to say because of what happened to at uh, the last quarter of last year with uh with me personally with the people that i know and all of that and also with news of uh, people who committed suicide and all that this year i think we need to focus on ourselves i think we have been uh, oh, should we have to talk about covid again but i think we have been out of covid for a year now it's not going to go but um it's um it's changed us it's changed our mental states and how we think and how we cope with things and how we deal with stuff and i think some of us have not actually most of us have not realized it covid made quite a number of people depressed myself included and we actually didn't realize what was going on with us so so we have not taken charge of our mental health as it should be um maybe i'll get someone to come in and talk to us again but we have not taken charge of that and also the mental health of children. Um, working with children, I see so many things that I realized that things have happened during the lockdown that parents have not been quite aware of what they've done to their children or children have changed in the way they think about things, in their responses to things that we really need to take charge of, not just ourselves, but of our children's mental health. And for those of you who have partners, you need to look after your your spouse, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you really need to look after them this year. You need to be aware of what's going on with them. You need to check in as it is. So, um, oh, you see, I've been wanting this earrings, right? I'm talking silly. With this. I'm actually serious. But, um, so I'm going to be looking, well, I'm going to be talking about family in different ways. In fact, my, cop, my podcast that's coming up on tuesday my podcast for those of you who don't know i have a podcast same name coffee with Amy, comes out every tuesday um every other tuesday so it's twice a month every other tuesday there's a new topic and some of the things i don't put it here i may and i may not put it here so please subscribe to my podcast as well okay and um you uh, we're going to be talking about intimacy this i oh man i so enjoyed the interview with this couple and I will, um, I'd like you to listen to it as well. Let me get your uh, take on it. And um, yeah, we're gonna look about different things, how, um, how we can do family this year, to actually do family this year, okay? So uh, about a week ago, I was chatting with someone and we said, um, we need to sue Mills and Boone. When we were growing up, the romantic books, apart, of, uh, apart from Barbara Catland and um, there was another one but you know if you want old-fashioned romance you read barbara Cutland, and if you wanted new romance you know new fashion romance we will read mills and bun mm, i'm loving these earrings eh see i've been wanting this cross thing for a while and i just came upon it in a shop that i don't normally go and it was the last one i had to get it and i want you guys to see it eh? don't i just look nice <laughs> i'm being silly i'm actually so happy to be to be around today so we said we we're going to sue Mills and Boone. Why? Because they gave expectations. They gave us um, an idea that was unrealistic, which we didn't know then, obviously, but an idea of romance that was unrealistic. But if for those of you who are my age or read Mills and Boone when you were growing up, you will know that the romance and uh, the book always ends. Well, obviously, it's going to end in a um, happily ever after. And there was no, uh, there was nothing hot and no heat in anything going on even though when we were young we thought oh, there was so so much going on Ooh, we don't know what they're going to do next but they never really did anything next they kissed and they snogged and that was it and you were left to your imagination and i remember someone saying that you know in in mills and boone when um 
she expected that when she had her first kiss, she was going to see stars. And lo and behold, there are no stars. <laughs> there are no stars. Anyway, so we thought maybe we needed them um, to pay us for, I don't know, me mental anguish or something. <laughs> for all the expectations that they 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 gave us that some didn't come through i think some of them for some it did come through eh? anyway so we're going and looking at um whippy goldberg book it says if someone says to complete me run and i understood what she was saying in a way um i don't th those words i don't use them i've never used them and maybe i said it in a, in a different way but i don't think i would say I needed someone to complete me, even if I thought it. But I know quite a number of people. Again, we're talking about our, our family and health here. And some of the things that she said, we know it. Women, we know it. Should I say girls? Girls, we know what she's talking about. If you haven't read that book, if you don't like reading, go look for the audio. Go look for the audio. Read chapter two or listen to chapter two and let me know what you think. So she's talking about um the things we listen to the things we watch uh but mostly because of um the age group i'll say the things that we listen to when we were growing up at that age i mean she's about 60 something so i understand where she's coming from now it said that um life imitates art or is it art that imitates lives but it is the same thing when you listen to certain music you think oh okay i mean obviously we, we want this or we want that there was something she said about um she, she, she mentioned so i don't want i don't want to give i don't want to be i don't want to do any spoilers at all you need to read this book you just need to read it but she used different uh, music that we've listened to the the artists and the songs that they've, they've done and um, there's this song by Farina, I, I want to know what love is and it's true she said who doesn't want to know what love is who doesn't want to and oh, our idea of love is all different and i think it has to do with our background what was your background like when you were growing up was it happy what what constituted love what made you feel safe and i remember there are some some of the guys that some of the artists that she named <laughs> one of them especially barry white my father would be like i don't know when we got to our teenage years and if there was a um any boy around for any reason to be like yeah coming and talking with the baritone barry white voices <laughs> i remember that one very well but you know these were the songs that um there were some of them are breakup songs you know what i mean by breakup songs and uh, some of them are songs when the love was still nice and good and all of that but really were they realistic really really were they realistic but the pedagraphs were the songs realistic even um um when you listen to i think it was johnny the last one that joined the um the new edition it's it's uh it's these are all the things that i that i grew up with so i knew what she was talking about and what she was saying really is your expectations let it not be the thing that the music is bringing in for you let it not be what you are watching you know she actually said we should be watching more of game of thrones <laughs> i thought that was like okay that's going to the extreme so maybe watch game of thrones love game of thrones so that whatever happens it's not never going to be as bad as game of thrones and you be on a good on a good in a good space but um i understood what she was saying let let's be realistic you know when we watch the um, housewives of wherever, how many housewives do you know that live like that? How, how many housewives are always made up like that? Dress as if they're going for some um, night uh, event somewhere. How many housewives talk like that? How many housewives? I'm saying housewives. Do you know what it is? It means actually look after a house. Huh? It's not realistic. It's fantasy. I mean, I've never really watched any of them. I've watched clips, I will not lie. But I just can't get into reality TV. I used to watch that one, you know, when they run around the world. It was kind of different. But to watch somebody else's life, I can't do it. I don't know. I mean, my life is, is enough for me to deal with. I can't deal with watching someone else's life and how they're, you no. Know, and anyway, I don't believe any of what it is they say there. So it's a really good, it's a really good book. One of my, one of the movies that I like, and I don't care what anybody says, whether um it's fantasy and over but my one of my all-time favorite movie is pretty woman and even though i know the story and i don't even remember most of I, I i kind of have the general idea of what happened but there's a scene in it that i like you know when um 
when the guy goes to the office and he says, do not pick the phone. I'm trying to remember his name now for my for life of me. All I can remember is Julia Roberts. Anyway, he says, do not pick the phone. And he calls and she picks the phone, you know, at the hotel. And he says, don't pick the phone. When I call, don't pick the phone. So he calls again and she picks up the phone again. And okay, you're going to be, you're going to laugh and say, what is wrong with this woman? But and he says, I told you not to pick the phone or something like that. I remember her saying very well, then don't call me. But you know, there was something, I don't know, whimsical, nice, funny, romantic about it. Like, yeah, don't call me. You know how you do when, you know, someone calls and they say, okay, okay, you put the phone down. You put the phone down. Okay, I'm going to put the phone down now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? It's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year. So let's do something for ourselves to, this year. Let's look after our health. Let's look after our family. Let's not live in fantasy land. No, your life is not Game of Thrones. Your life is not, um, let's call Saul. <laughs> Gosh, your life is not even young Sheldon. Okay, we're going to live life that is reality based. Let's let, um, yes, you need to have goals for yourself. You need to have, um, you need to know what you want. And that's one of the things that she, the book actually has some practical advice. Um, and if, I mean, she, she says it's not a relationship um, expert or anything. I mean, she's been married three times, but you need to know what you want. You need to know who you are. If you know who you are, you don't need anybody to come and complete you. You understand what I'm saying? If you know who you are, you know what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept. One thing you need to know, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot change anybody. I'm so sorry to tell you. That person is not going to change when you marry them. They're not going to change when they have the first child, second child. They're just going to be who they are. They might be fat. They might even get fatter or thinner mm, by God's grace. But that basic person that they are, unless they really want to, you're not going to be the person to change them. Unless they want you, you're not going to be the person to change them. And here I am saying it's not going to be a long one. I'm going on talking. So. I'd like us to do something for ourselves this year as well, apart from our else. Last year, I spoke about choosing something to do, you know, something to do for the, for all the people that they don't have to know. I spoke about those five women who were baking at night and dropping um, bread and cake and grocery somewhere in America. And I said, let's pick something. Let's do something for someone who doesn't, who doesn't even know you enough to come up to you to say thank you. And um, not patting myself on the back, but I started uh, donating, I started something called Girl Care, where we donate toiletries. It was really just um, sanitary towels, then toiletries became, you know, I had a little bit of, had soap, I had toothpaste, I had a man, deep to girls. And what started like, you know, I, I just brought, I just said it, I'm doing this, please help me. I can't do it by myself, who wants to contribute. And what was, a, what would have been a one-off has now become a regular thing and i'm glad that it changed my mind i became regular because this is what girls need every month they don't it's not a one-off it's not once a year so now we are 42 and i say we because i'm not doing it by myself it's by your donations i thank you so much for it i'm putting the um the links there if you want to be part of it but i'd like you to choose this year what do you want to do i already i spoke about this to someone and she's already said oh she's doing blanket run what do you want to do? Let's do something for ourselves. Let's do something for somebody else. We don't always need to have the thank you come back to us. Because like my pastor says, if the person says thank you to you, that's all you're going to get. But rather let God thank you for what you've done to that person, to your fellow human being. So let's choose something we're going to do this year. And let's run with it. Um, let's, let's join hands together. Let's do something for somebody else. Okay. It's going to be a good year. And... I'll see you next week. Like I said, podcast is up on Tuesday. Coffee with Timmy. It's on everything. I it's on Apple, Google, Samsung, Amazon Music, TuneIn Radio, um, Listen on Notes, Spotify. You name it, I'm on it. See you next time. Bye for now.